there's a curse. But the good news is not that there is a curse. It's the fact the curse was placed on Jesus Christ. How? You may say, how was it placed? I struggle with demons. I struggle with addictions, you may say. You may say, I struggle with something that keeps pulling me back because curse is the black cloud that keeps you back from where you want to go and pushes you where you don't want to go. That is what a curse is. It's not just your flesh. It's the demonic forces that are fighting against you. But the Bible says Jesus was crucified on the cross to break the power of curse. See, if he would die by stabbing, that would deal with your eternity with God. If he would die by being poisoned, that would be a quick death and it will atone for your sin. Why did he have to take the worst, the most excruciating, embarrassing and painful way to die? Because every person who lives in a curse lives in exactly the same thing. Jesus could have easily died by stoning which exactly how Jewish people kill their prisoners. Why crucifixion? Have you ever had something that you stepped on a little sharp object that went into your skin and then you tried to walk? You couldn't walk. You had to use your heels or you had to walk like this until you will get that out. Now imagine being pulled on two beams of wood and you don't just have a little thing that got stuck in your foot but you actually have two nails that are stuck right through your feet and you have to stand on them for six straight hours and your wrists no they're not just tight and duct tape and then a nail in just a mark of a nail but actually the nail goes through and your arms and your feet they hung on nails he didn't have to die like that if curses wouldn't exist if curses don't hurt people if demons don't torment people he would simply die quick but he had to die a painful death because that's exactly what curses do to people they cause people's life to be painful why did he do that so that curse and power of curse can be forever broken over people's lives the witchcraft the spells the demonic oppressions can be broken once for all in people's lives can somebody say amen can somebody say amen there is power in the cross. There is power in the blood. Whatever demon that is hunting in your family, you can imagine that on the cross, Jesus already suffered for that. Whatever thing that you are facing right now in your health and you may say, there is nothing I can do about it. I want to tell you something, the torturous and the painful death Jesus endured, not just for your salvation, but for your freedom from every curse. Maybe, maybe every relationship you pick up, maybe you're a beautiful young woman. Every relationship you start fails. Every relationship you start disappoints you and you just say, you know, I'm sick and tired. That's exactly what happened to my mom and to my grandma. Today, you are, maybe you came to watch somebody getting baptized. Maybe you came and you can't just sit through the service and leave, but I have a news for you. You don't have to live in that curse because Jesus Christ died on a cross for you. Maybe somebody put a spell on you. Maybe you were involved in witchcraft. Maybe as a young woman, I remember we were praying just recently for a young lady who actually physically cut her finger as a teenager with another young teenager and they made a pact with the devil. Thought it was just a joke. Start practicing witchcraft, reading horoscopes and start playing with Ouija boards, you know, putting all kinds of things in the room. And next thing that happens is this person's life starts going haywire and the devil starts to chase that person. Do you know why and how we can break the curse? not because we just scream at the devil and yell at the devil it's because 2000 years ago God took the hand of curse that was supposed to be on my head and he placed it on the head of his son and he let his son endure shame he let his son suffer the nails why so that when I face a curse in my life I have someone to look to and I said Jesus you died for my curse so I will live in the Abraham's blessing can somebody say amen